Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. So in this video session, we are going to learn about that how can we delete the pages which we have created in the last video session while activating our plugin. So this is very simple guys. I tell you that in last video session, we have deleted tables also which we have generated dynamically when our plugin installs. Okay. So it's a very basic concepts or easy concepts to, which I will give you to learn in easy steps. So guys, if you are a beginner from this video session, then I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video sessions before making continuation with us. Because in last video session, we have discussed so many things from scratch. Okay guys, so have a look at our channel this is our channel and if you haven't subscribed so far then please click on this red color button and subscribe to us to get the latest videos updates about our custom developments video sessions for you and also this is our twitter page and this is our blog in which we have done so many posts for you so in this video session we will see that how can we delete the custom page that we have made in our last video session just click on pages we can see this is the page that we have made custom plugin online web tutor page in our last video session if you remind so just go to our code section and uh, if you find then this is the function which we have added in our last video session create page and this function is attached with the activation hook registration activation hook which fires this function at plugin activation so while activating plugin this page is dynamically created at the admin section so in this video session we are going to delete this page which we have created so far okay so let me delete the page manually first click on trash go to trash and delete this page permanently click on delete permanently and now our page finishes off from our database table completely okay now just go to plugins install plugins we are going to deactivate our plugin for now and just click on deactivate okay guys we have made deactivated plugin right now just refresh this page once more we are going to run our activation plugin to activate or create this page once more okay but before running our plugin activation code let me add some code here and what the code will be code is actually guys we have to keep some points in our mind before deleting a page which we are which we are going to made in this video session so the function should be add option okay get option these are functions which we are which i am writing which we will use to delete a page wp insert post which we have seen so far and wp delete post okay step by step we are going to use these all functions while deleting our page okay so before adding a dynamic page to database we want that after creating a page we will save the id of created page into wp options table wp option table if we gonna look on wp options table then this is the table which database stores all values to this table by key value pair if you see option name and option value by using option name we can get the value of option value so we want that while creating a page to the backend section we will save the id of that post into wp options table okay and by the help of that id we will delete that page when our plugin deactivates or uninstall okay guys so let me save the post id which this function actually returns wp insert post wp insert post function actually saves these all data which we will pass and to which table 
to WP post table. Okay, WP insert post function basically inserts the post into WP post table according to the column sections that we have passed and it returns the post ID post ID post ID means this is the ID which we will which we get from WP insert post if we go to the documentation section of WP insert post this is the guys documentation section if you see and WP insert post if you see the return type of this function then we will see the return type of this function is post ID if the post will be inserted successfully into the database then it returns the post ID okay so in that condition we will say post ID to our WP options table WP options table okay so for to save the value of the post ID to WP options table we will use add option function so if you go to the documentation section of add option function oh guys add option function if you go to the documentation section it is add option then you will see that add option takes option value and uh, means option name and option value what it should be option name means the value of option name okay and the second parameter that is option value so what should be the value for this key so in that case we will pass our page id as a post id we will get from wp insert post okay and after getting that post id we will save do that value into this table so let me save those that value so it returns post id as we know post id okay now we are going to save this value post id as return value and we are going to save this value to options wp options table so to do that add option is a function it takes two parameters function is option name so suppose it's our custom plugin page id this is key according to you need you will give the id of this option name and the value should be post id so just paste it here and to just to save okay and now the this function what it do this function does that after getting the post id via wp insert post it saves this post id to wp options table table from the name of custom plugin page id okay so let me check that control s to save and just click on refresh So click on activate button plugin activated successfully okay now let me check our page has been created or not yes the page has been created let me check that our database so just go to WP post table first it's Family according to ID descending order so this is ID number 97 last ID you can see 97 and the page has been created okay custom login page and now just refresh this page WP options which we have saved with the key yeah you can see guys custom plugin page id and the option value is 97 so this is the id that we have saved if you see here and the value should be post id as we know wp insert post returns the post id value of this page and the post id is nothing this is the id value okay now by the help of this id we will delete this post from wp post table while our plugin deactivates or uninstalls from our installed plugin list okay so according to that id we will delete this 
row from this table so to do that we have to write that code into register deactivation hook because as we know in our last video session that register deactivation hook method fires when the plugin deactivates from installed plugin list or the another action hook will be register uninstall hook this is the function guys which actually fires when our plugin deletes from the installed plugin list so these are the two different types of hooks which actually basically runs when the plugin deactivates or the plugin deletes okay so we will see one by one first step is register deactivation hook when the plugin deactivates so this function will be fired okay so under this function we have to write to delete our custom login page which we have created to this database so to delete that we have to do step one first we get the id of post means page second delete the post from table okay by the help of these two steps we can delete the page from database table so first step get the id of post so to get the id of that post from the wp post table we will use the function like get options okay get option is a function of wordpress it, it's a defined function which actually gives the value of our option name which we will pass in within bracket it takes a parameter by the help of this parameter it actually finds it finds the name option name and by matching option name it will return the value of according to this key okay if you go to the documentation section of get option function then you can see retrieves an option value based on an option name means if you pass an option name as a first parameter then it will turn the value of that option value so if you remember then this is the option name that we have passed just copy this name and paste it here okay it will return the post id the post id the saved post id which we have saved and by the help of this page id means post id now we will delete the post from our wp post table and to achieve that task we will use wp delete post this is the function guys which we will use to delete a post by the help of post id if you go to the documentation section of wp delete post then you can see it takes the value of post id okay and after getting the post id it will delete a post or a page from database table okay so just if we put some condition here if it is not blank okay if it is not empty then means we get the page and after getting the post id we are going to delete that post just put it here and let me check the second argument if you want to delete forcefully from the database then you have to pass just true value here if you want to delete the post forcefully from database table then you have to pass true value at its second parameter okay guys so let me check that just we have to actually uninstall just click on trash button and uh, go to trash first we have to make our pg sections null plugins click on deactivate so get options function call to undefined function line number 107 let me check that 107 line number get options okay guys it's get option just refresh this page now our plugin deactivated successfully 
okay just click on refresh this page descending the post does not exist anymore let me check that key value also click on refresh just delete this value from here also and now the value does not exist anymore in this table also okay so let me activate the plugin first so while activating plugin what it does basically while activating our plugin it fires register activation hook which fires create page function and this page function actually basically inserts a page into database after inserting that page into database it will return post id and after getting post id add option function by the help of this key it adds a value to wp options table and the value should be in the post id okay so just click on activate plugin activated let me the pg section yeah the page has been created let me refresh database Descending. This is the value that we have inserted custom plugin online web tutor and its post ID will be 99. So if we refresh this page, then we get the value of post ID 99 with the key value of custom plugin page ID. Okay, guys. Now we are going to uninstall our plugin now. Just click on plugins click on deactivate and go to pages section then you can see our page does not exist anymore because we have deleted our pages from database as well okay guys so if you will check in database then id number 99 does not exist because we have deleted and let me refresh that then the key does not exist actually key exists guys because we have we haven't deleted the page id means the wp options table because we have deleted wp post table okay now the second method when the plugin d deletes when the plugin deletes then by the help of register uninstall hook just you need to replace this method by register at uninstall hook well guys just you need to replace this function by this function so after deleting plugin from your plugin list the page will be deleted by clicking on this button delete button when you click delete button then register uninstall hook will be fired and after firing it actually run deactivate table and it will delete the post value from database okay guys so i am not changing this function anymore you need to replace this function by the help of this function to actually if you want to fire that functionality in case of delete okay guys i am writing some codes it deletes the page when plugin will be deleted from list okay guys so i hope i have made much more clear concept about deactivation uninstall hook about de deletion of a custom page which we have made in our last video session so if you have any query about this video session any suggestions for me or any extra supplement any extra resources that you need to learn this video session and also guys i strongly recommend please watch my previous video sessions before making continuation with us so i hope this video session will make clear concept about deletion of pages from database when plugin deletes or deactivates you guys so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day